Research companies need your opinions on subjects which are important to you, such as food, TV, movies, new products and politics. So why not take advantage of this and earn yourself some quick and easy rewards including PayPal Cash and Amazon and iTunes gift cards. Simply click the link in the video description, sign up to Opinion Outpost and begin filling out surveys to start earning rewards. And guess what? Every time you complete a survey, you will automatically receive an additional entry into the $10,000 quarterly prize draw. There is no limit on how many entries you can earn. So go ahead and sign up today by clicking the link in the video description and start earning your rewards. So with that being said, let's get straight into the video. So hey guys, my name is Chaotic and in today's Grand Theft Auto 5 video, I'm going to be showing you guys some secret weapons which are yet to be released into GTA 5 and are possibly going to be added in future DLCs. Well as I'm sure you guys know, there have been a number of information leaks over the past few months where people have found information in the GTA 5 source code which relates to possible DLCs and weapons which we may see come to GTA 5 in the near future. Well, a good friend of mine known as 0.4 Live discovered something in GTA 5 which may support and suggest a few weapons which may be coming to GTA 5 in the near future. I will of course have a link in the video description to North's channel so you guys can go and check him out. So an official weapons list has been discovered in GTA 5 itself which supposedly lists all of the weapons which can be purchased from the ammunition store. So what you want to do of course to see this weapon list is go to the ammunition store which is currently featured in the video right now and once inside you'll notice a board on the wall which lists all of the available weapons which you can purchase from the gun store. So this is supposedly the official weapons list of all of the weapons which can be purchased in GTA 5 but what you may notice is that there are weapons on this list which aren't available to purchase. For example we have the Assault MG which is located near the top right hand corner of the list and you'll notice the weapon itself can be purchased for $30,000. Now if you go ahead and try and purchase this weapon you will discover that you can't actually purchase it because it's not available from the ammunition store. Another weapon name which can also be viewed on this list is the Programmable AR and you can see this name is located in the bottom left hand corner. Now I do in fact have some information on the programmable AR, it is in fact a grenade launcher which was in GTA 5 but was removed before the game itself was released. But the weapon itself can still be found in the game code of GTA 5 so it is possible that Rockstar do intend to release the weapon to GTA 5 in the near future. Now as you can see in the video right now, I'm scrolling up and down the empty weapon slots in the ammunition store and there is space for 5 more weapons so it is possible we could be seeing at least 5 more weapons coming to GTA 5 in future DLCs. Now as previously mentioned, there are in fact several weapons hiding in the source code of GTA 5 which are yet to be released, but rather than go through those, I thought I would make a few suggestions of weapons that I myself would like to see in GTA 5. So starting off with the pitchfork, I can only imagine going around and using the pitchfork to kill people by stabbing them with it or beating them over the back of the head with it. Another really cool suggestion which in fact has been suggested in the past is the fire extinguisher. You could of course go around and beat people with it, but you could also use it to put out fires. And my third and final suggestion would give you the ability to abseil up walls. So adding the grapple gun into GTA 5 will give you the ability to climb up buildings. Now I'm sure you guys have many really cool ideas, so make sure you leave a comment on this video giving me a few suggestions which you guys would like to see as weapons in GTA 5. But apart from that, that is all I have for this video, but I do hope you guys have enjoyed it. So if you guys could take a few seconds out of your day to click the like button, it would help me out a lot and it's also greatly appreciated. And also be sure to subscribe to my channel if you have not already, because I upload all the latest and the greatest Grand Theft Auto 5 content. So anyway guys, thank you for watching and I will see you guys next time.